Head over keels. Actual naval stories. Luftwaffe versus the Royal Navy. On May 3rd, 1940, submarine HMS Seal struck a mine in the Kattegat Strait and lost the ability to dive. At 0330, the AR-196 aircraft spotted an unidentified submarine and immediately dove at it, dropping bombs and spitting fire. Black smoke spurted out of the submarine, the ship slowed down and eventually came to a stop. In the meantime, another aircraft of the same type from the same air unit was searching for enemy submarines. After a while, one of the pilots spotted a large oil spill spreading across the water. They soon discovered the submarine herself that was semi-submerged. The plane dropped a bomb and opened fire with a machine gun at the ship's conning tower. The submarine hoisted a white flag. The float plane landed, took the submarine's commander on board, took off and flew towards the air group's headquarters. Meanwhile, the first aircraft kept circling above the submarine to prevent her possible scuttling. I see an aircraft bearing English camouflage approaching us from the west, reported the AR-196's pilot. The scout took a steep turn towards the approaching English plane and opened fire. A number of successful hits tore off several of the hostile plane's lining plates, making the English pilots turn away and retreat. Once the enemy plane disappeared from sight, the float plane landed near the submarine and demanded that the second officer also step on board the plane. Both prisoners were taken to the operational headquarters of the Luftwaffe Naval Aviation Command. However, by the time a Kriegsmarine submarine hunter ship reached the scene and the boarding team stepped aboard the submarine, all valuable documents had been destroyed. The sub was taken in tow and brought to the German base. HMS Seal was not of particular value for the German fleet as a combat unit and was used for propaganda and training purposes until she was sunk on May 3, 1945, during an Allied air raid on Kiel.